folks and welcome back to Patia. What a beautiful evening. I've just come back from the dark side. Patia ponies. We'll take a look at that later in the episode. Just something else here to do in Patia. But uh, last night, well yesterday evening, we started out at the beer garden down on Beach Road. So we'll take a look at that as well. We, we got to get uh, we got to get spruced up. We got to get haircuts. We've got a party to go to tomorrow. A lot to do and also we're getting ready for song cron. So let's jump into it. So it's about six o'clock. We've come down to the beach today, but not to go to the beach. We're going to what's known as the beer garden. Very, uh, <laughs> very long and storied restaurant, eatery, drinkery here at Patia, just, just by Walking Street. It's like the last thing you come to um, before you get to Walking Street as you come down Beach Road, the very end of Beach Road. And uh, it's been closed for, I think, just about all of the pandemic and just reopened about a week or two ago. So. We're going to go there tonight. We're supposed to meet some folks there and try it out. It's supposed to have been like refurbished, renovated. Uh, not only that, but the part leading into the beer garden where there was a uh, little separate uh, bars and things. It's all supposed to be redone. I took a peek in there. Oh, about a year or so ago during uh, some of the construction phase. It looked like they were all working in there, but there was nothing really to see. So we'll go in. We'll uh, see if the beer garden lives up to its reputation. I've never, I've never been a big fan of the beer garden. I just want to go back because it's it's redone and I think there's a, maybe something to see there. But I always thought the your money was spent better spent in other eateries other than the fact that you can sit right out on the water and watch the sunset. So that's nice. But uh, there's a lot of big fans of the beer garden so a lot of people that come here love to go there. So maybe you're one of those. We'll go in and show you what's new. So decent sunset out here today. I tell you what, it's not all new in here. The part coming in, I'll show you what that looks like. That's new. Uh, there's, I think, four bars there. That's all new. But the actual beer garden itself, where we're sitting out here, isn't really new. Uh, maybe just uh, gussied up a little bit. The menu's all new, though. I didn't recognize the menu. Used to have pictures of food. Now it's all in text. But I remembered. Uh, I was telling my our guest here. I was here three years ago. Valentine's Day 2019 and I had the snapper with a uh, fried with chili sauce on it. It was 360 baht, it's still 360 baht today. So uh, the price is the same and I saw breakfast on here. Let me know if you remember them having breakfast. I don't remember them having breakfast here the last time I was here. Um, and they open at one o'clock now. I don't, maybe that was a thing. I think they were open in the afternoon. I just don't remember breakfast. Let me know. Some of you guys probably love this place and come all the time. I'm a very uh, casual comer here. So. But anyway, I've ordered a uh, curry and we'll see what all the food looks like. The drinks are coming now. I'll just get that. There we go. And, uh, We'll have an evening. Sunset was decent, decent sunset, not a great sunset. Uh, but it's not, it's not that hot today. Uh, when, it's a, when it's not too hot, it's a beautiful evening out here. That's the, that's the reason you come out here to enjoy the evening on the, on the waterfront. The food's just like I said, it's never been spectacular, but it's, uh, it's something nice to eat while you watch the water and sunset. So anyway, I'll show you the food. 
So before I got a million questions about the about the cocktail coasters, the, the things you set your drinks on, they are multicolored. They have two sides, of course, and one side is green. Uh, that one says looking, looking for maybe a friend to join you for dinner. Uh, there would be from time to time people here that could join you for dinner, ladies and so forth. The other side is red, says chilling. That means, hey, I'm just here chilling out, uh, not really looking for any accompaniment. But anyway, they still have that. I think a lot of people are curious, so we'll... Uh, Take a look at the food and enjoy the evening. Yeah, we'll just give it a twirl. I guess we're landed on red, so we'll be red tonight. You go the Patia Beer Garden. Now the food was decent. Everybody enjoyed theirs. The service was great. Everybody was friendly. You know, location matters. And not only is it right on the water, but after your meal, you're right here at Walking Street, and you can go and take a look and see what's doing there. So I think that kind of makes this almost a don't miss here in Patia, at least for one evening, maybe. But uh, we've got some other places to go. I've been talking about this for a while. And on Soy Seven, my friend has opened up a place called Hedonism. Hedonism. It just opened the other night, like a soft opening, not a big grand opening party or anything like that but it's all pretty inside it's pretty in pink i guess you could say and uh, it is air conditioned there are air curtains there keeping cool air in so it's uh, cooler than your average bar inside which makes it nice and uh, everybody seemed to have a good time it's a nice place to enjoy and really does add some ambiance to the to the soy there uh, they got little buzzards on the table. If you push the bell, push the buzzard, you got to buy everybody at the table a shot. So, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> but anyway. Cheers, Lucas. Ah. We've got to get on down the road. We've got somewhere else to go out on the dark side. So, you know, you guys know when I have opportunity here, I always like to show you something different. A lot of people come here. Their interests vary. They run the whole spectrum. And... I always get questions, do they have this, do they have that? And I've always kind of answered generically and said, yeah, they have that, they have everything. They have something of everything, just come and see. But this is something nobody's ever asked me about or I've never even considered, it's polo. But I'm, I, horsemanship in general, um, Thailand isn't maybe known for horses as much as a place, say, like the US, where we've got lots and lots of horses. <laughs> But they have horses here. There's 80 of them. Well, I think 70 as of today, right here at this equestrian center. It's known as the as the Siam Polo Club. And I've never really watched polo played. I've seen a lot of equestrian type events in the U.S. where everything from uh, Western style riding, English style riding, and a variety of different things. Basically, horsemanship and how the how you handle the horse. And I've seen lassoing. But this is this is kind of different hitting the ball it's like maybe a little bit bigger than a croquet ball and they hit it with a stick that's maybe a little bit bigger than a croquet stick but uh, I think it's one of those things definitely it's harder than it looks but my friend my friend Brian brought me out here he, he's got a son he comes here for training for an hour 1600 baht that's less than well, about $50 call it $50 and for $50 he's got the use of the horse the instructor the equipment um, They've got to feed these horses, take care of them. They've got to put, they've got to put horseshoes on them. They have a full-time blacksmith here. I know one guy that is a blacksmith that's thinking about moving here. Well, there you go. If they've got a blacksmith here for 80 horses, probably almost every day of the week, one of them will need shoes. And they've got to have the equipment and somebody knows how to do that. So that's a thing here as well. I think he's more of a blacksmith hobbyist, but I believe, uh, I believe he's done it professionally as well. So. The interesting thing here, 
they, they only use these horses for seven minutes. They got a lady that times it, and that's her job to time it. And when the seven minutes is up, she rings a bell, I'll show you. And <clears throat> the, I guess the horses will get tired and overheated. So they've been out here, I've been watching them here, I don't know, about a half hour. They're on their third or fourth set of horses. <laughs> they, 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 they run them, they, they go, like, go like mad out there, and then they'll bring the next, next set of horses. They just come in, get off the one horse, get on the fresh horse, and go, and the, the uh, ones that have been run or taken, the, I guess, walk it off and get back to the stable, however they handle that. But amazing, just something else in Patia here. Uh, I probably referred to these as thoroughbreds. They're, I don't think they're thoroughbreds. They look more like quarter horses or something. I'm sure somebody will know and let me know. I don't know much about horses. I don't know much about anything. <laughs> but um, they sure are pretty in the way they have the tails tied up. They have foot padding, uh, padding around their, 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 their lower shins and everything. It's a little bit of a, of a unique look. They look pretty tough. But they, they're smaller than the horses I've seen in the U.S. for the most part. Uh, but, but in good shape and good, very good muscle tone and uh, younger horses, I guess. We found a spider here too. Really nasty looking spider. Hope somebody knows what kind of spider it is. It, it, it might be totally harmless. It just looks nasty. But anyway, we'll take a quick look around here and just another example of probably, we're about, we're probably only 20 minutes from, 20 to 25 minutes from Walking Street. Uh, from Su some Sukhumvit Road, maybe maybe 15 minutes from Sukhumvit Road, something like that. So it's it's way out on the dark side here, not far from Bira Circuit and Siam Country Club and all that. But the ground is just beautiful. They've got the horses tear up this ground, but they have people to go out every day and fix it. Uh, amazing, amazing. I was told it cost 30,000 baht a month, so that's about a thousand U.S a little under a thousand US to keep to board a horse out here. And I guess that would include the, the, the food, the hay, the stall, whatever, the, the whole nine yards. So the care and custody, I guess. But um, if you're into horses or horse type activities, other than just horsing around in Patia, then this is where you can come. <laughs> There you go, Siam Polo Club. Now, I'm told this is not the only facility of its type out here. There are other ones. So, you know, if, if this is your thing, anything to do with horses, it definitely can be found out here. Uh, anyway, we've got a lot of other stuff to do. i tell you one thing that we've been doing, just maybe once a week, once, twice a week. We've been going around our neighborhood here up in Pratamnak Hill, and we've been trying to visit all the little local Thai eateries. And we've done, I don't know, three or four so far. This one is a standout, I think. Uh, I'll tell you why in a minute, but it's at the kind of the bottom of Soy 4. There's a great big gym on the left on the bottom, and it's kind of right behind that gym. You can actually kind of cut through the gym parking lot or go down to the next alley and turn left. But anyway, very nice, a friendly staff, but the, the portion size here uh, and the amount of meat they give you, and I, I just think it's a value here. Not the cheapest place, but I think uh, you get what you pay for here. We couldn't even eat it all. I think 200 and 240 baht this day. We had a big plate of vegetables and each got a dish of like three dishes. And uh, well, they have free water and stuff where you can get beverages. I think we just had the free water. But uh, one of the better ones, we still have a couple more. We still have a couple more to go to. There are plenty up here in Pratam Not Kill. But I think so far this one was one of the standouts. I think we had some leftover rice and uh, 
we fed it to the, I don't know, birds, dogs, rats. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But we are on the cusp of Songkran here. Songkran starts on the 12th, which is next week. Uh, her V's, V's school is having a, a Songkran party, as you would have a before they recess for school, just like you would Christmas. The Christmas party at school is generally right before they recess. But anyway, we are going to that tomorrow. So we'll uh, look at that next time. We've got all got to get all spruced up to go to that song crown's a special event i'll talk about that and we'll see what kind of festivities we have next time but i've got to leave this one off right here and as usual i'll thank you for watching and until next time bye for now